500 men making a difference hosts Black Men Brunch at Milk River. We started this in June 12th of 2012 with just the idea of making sure that our meetings had something fruitful to come from it. Making access to trusted legal counsel possible legal with Shield Associate Angela Berry of Legal Shield. Protection. You know, people in our community, we, we tend to think that something has to be wrong for us to contact an attorney because we were not raised like that. Curry Shrimp with a twist on this week's in at the kitchen with nice celebrity lemon chef on the side. Patrick Sims. You can't go wrong with this. One of his most famous songs is Rikers Island. Kokoti is our featured artist on this week's Artist Spotlight. I'm going to Rasta, Black Art, man. All them do is smoke ganja and chat about foolishness now. They are legalizing the earth. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. 500 men making a difference, a group of distinguished men of all ages, from diverse backgrounds, together for East Black Men Brunch. The Black Men's Brunch, also known as the BMB, is a joint venture between 500 men making a difference, partnering community based organizations and borough president Eric Adams. Gather together, spend money with black folk, men to young men, and celebrate somebody in Moses. I walked in one day and they told me my services was no longer needed. That was, that was a curse, but it's one of the best things that could have ever happened to me. I made a decision. I would never work for nobody again. Never! This is an amazing opportunity for me to get it, uh, a clear picture of what's happening in our community, which is an excellent thing. Our news is contaminated with so many pictures and imagery of black men not achieving, not operating at their highest self, and in the communities not pouring back and pulling back and standing up for what it is that we believe and achieving those things that our parents and our forefathers set uh, for us to achieve. I'm here to share a good word on being a complete man. As a black man in today's society, it is so important that we achieve at the highest levels and doing so, we have to look at our lives in a complete fashion. Many of us have grown up being one-dimensional, two-dimensional at best, focusing on whether it be money, whether it be in our connection, our families, our relationships, whether it be our bodies, whether it be our, uh, you know, our spirituality, whatever it is, many of us end up being very singular in our focus. And I'm here to share a word that we can be complete, we can be powerful, and we can operate on all of those areas at the exact same time, using discipline and being very clear about what it is we want to do. I'm an innovator, I'm an energizer, I host events, I'm always on the mic. I said, how can I get a group of educators in one space and not be a salesman? So for me, I started going after work events with teachers. And I would literally bring educators to one space every other Friday and become their friends. Sit with them, buy them drinks, talk with them. I, it was a social intention that I had when I was networking with them. So I created the space and I had them come, and then when I was ready to start my business, all I had to do was make the phone call. At Milk River, it was an extraordinary, impactful, intentional event. We were able to learn so much from each other. We were able to commune as brothers, eat together, talk with each other, inspire one another. We have young to our seasoned brothers, and um, I'm just, I'm just, inspired and empowered and you know it helps me you know continue the work that we do out in the community. And the teal relates to Trayvon Martin and everything that we're going through as a people. Growth and development comes only through struggle. When we come together there is black growth. We're here at Milk River, black owned, we're at the Black Men's Brunch. We started going in our closets and giving suits to individuals who we knew were going on interviews. And what we realized was when we gave them the suits and Taught them how to tie ties, as a lot of guys didn't know how to tie ties. They never even wore ties. So we started doing workshops and going in schools and teaching them. And we noticed that their confidence grew. They felt better about themselves. As you can tell, the first time you put on a jacket or a suit jacket, you you feel a little different. So we started noticing that feeling. And not only that, they started getting jobs. They started being hired. The last man of color we had was David Dinkins. 
You know how long ago that was? Some folks in here weren't even born. And here's the opportunity that it's not about electing me, but it's about electing a black agenda. We have a city with an $89 billion budget. We get none of it. None of it. Think about it for a moment. How about just taking this brother's restaurant and say, listen, we want to give you a contract for the school food in a certain part of Bethesda Stuyvesant. That's a multi-million dollar contract. Hi, I'm Eric Adams, the Brooklyn Borough President, and I'm here at another one of our great BMBs. We call it Black Men Brunch. It's a place where black men come together, coalesce, and also share ideas, stories, and real life experiences. We don't have too many places where black men can just come together and just re-energize each other and understand that we're not alone. Together we can accomplish and overcome any obstacle that's in place. Not only must we be in the same job atmosphere or the same school or the same college, but we must also meet and greet each other outside. Black men don't smile enough, don't laugh enough, don't learn how to come together enough, and we want to change that. And we're doing it by patronizing black-owned businesses, restaurants, we're spending our dollars, but at the same time, we're coming together as a unity and as a unified force. Black Men Brunch. Good afternoon, Syriac St. Ville from 500 Men Making a Difference. I'm excited today about the event we just had, which is the Black Men's Brunch. It's the 13th edition in this series it's a roving brunch series. What we do is we patronize black-owned establishments that's citywide. We realize that there's a lot of black men doing amazing things in different locations, and sometimes we just don't know about each other because we're so busy chasing that bag, as they say. What we're doing is we're taking the time out from chasing that bag and targeting our spending power at different locations, showing that this money that they say we don't circulate within our community, we do. They say the dollar doesn't circulate, we're circulating thousands of dollars. We started this in June 12th of 2012 with just the idea of making sure that our meetings had something fruitful to come from it. We wanted to make sure that we were meeting with a purpose and something came out of it no matter what. So instead of us saying, hey, I'm going to get back to you next week or I wish we could do something, we're committed to quarterly sitting down in congregation with our fellow brother patronizing a black-owned establishment. It's been an amazing event. It's recharging every time we're able to do it. I wish I could have you out here the next time, and we look forward to doing brunch with you, brother. Building a community of coverage with Legal Shield. Legal Shield is identity theft and legal protection. You know, people in our community, we, we tend to think that something has to be wrong for us to contact an attorney because we were not raised like that. Because we know attorney costs what? Money. Money, yes. Right? And we don't have money like that to call an attorney. But rich people, that's how they were raised. Okay. Before they do anything, Oprah Winfrey, Sean Diddy, all of those people, before they do anything, what do they do? Consult their legal team. But right. guess what? When we poor people now have a situation, what do we do? We call friends, mm -hmm. family member, looking for someone to assist us. But most of the time, they can't assist us. They mean well, of course, but they can't assist us. True. So this, this service is for a monthly fee of $24 or less per month, where you're able to have an attorney on retainer. So if you're questioned, arrested, or detained by the police, or a child has been removed from your custody, of course, that's an emergency situation. What do you do? You just pick up your phone right away and contact your attorney. Most of the time, we don't have access. So right there, just become a member of Legal Shield, and you'll be able to get legal protection. It doesn't matter what it is. If you have a question, don't ask your friends or family member. Sure. Pick up your phone and contact your attorney. To me, that is powerful. Because, you know, police, they treat you different when you have an attorney. Right. You're aware of that? I am. Okay. Because when you have an attorney, you have power. People treat you with more respect. We offer identity theft. Everybody okay. should know by now what is identity theft. Yes. It's not only limited here in the United States, it's worldwide. True indeed. It's in Jamaica. It's in Germany. It's everywhere that you can think of. So it's not a matter of who or what, but when you'll be attacked. Some of us right now, our identity is compromised and we don't even know why, because we are not 
going to buy anything. Sometimes you're not seeking a job right now, but I've heard of situations yes. where a friend of mine he went in another state to get a job. When he went there, they're asking him, why are you applying here? You already mm -hmm. work here. Mm -hmm. It's real life and that crime, you are not innocent until proven guilty. You are guilty until you prove your innocence. I could sit here for an hour telling you stories of how this service has helped me and a lot of people. Yeah. You know, a girlfriend of mine, she bought a boots in Macy's. I didn't want to call them, but I did already yeah. in King's Plaza. And um, the, the, the eel broke. She took it home and the eel broke. And she took it back and they didn't want to give her back her money. Right. But you know, once mm -hmm. she said she have legal, she let me call my attorney. And this yes. is not just talk. Yes. This is really contacting your attorney. Yes. And the attorney got on the phone and spoke to the manager there. You know what happened, right? Treat her differently. Right. Now it's respect, respect, and give her back her money. The yes. policy has changed for her. We are in New York. You yes. know how much the average attorney charge per hour? at True. least $400. True. So $24. Some attorneys, is like, and if you yeah. want the best of the best, it's even more. True indeed. So do you have money like that to spend on an attorney? Of course not. But with Legal Shield, it, it's affordable, and yeah. so you worry less and you live more. There's an opportunity for people to join Legal Shield where they could make money. Tell us about that. Absolutely. Um, there's two steps. You become a member first, you know, you get the service, get yourself protected, because that way when you're sharing with people, you have your own story to share because you're using okay. the service. So you get yourself protected, then you can also become an associate like me, where you sign up, you get okay. your own website, your cards, everything. We teach you what to do, we give you tools and everything. And even though you're in business for yourself, but you're not by yourself. Mm. So you got a team who is here ready to help you, to support you, to help you to make money. Because when you make money, we all make money. Right. And who don't want to make money, Ziggy? <laughs> who Everybody. don't have any bills? I'm an entrepreneur. Right. Right. I like to work for myself. And that's lovely. I'm not, you know, as I tell people all the time, I'm not knocking a job. You have yes. to start somewhere. Yes. Because I started somewhere. And anything that I do, I do my best. So, yes. of course, I'm going to want to start doing my best now for myself. Of course, yes. And I was also given the opportunity again to start my another business of mine called Proven Home Solutions. Proven Home Solutions. We are a real yes. estate investing company. So, you know, we try to help people. Again, as I tell you, I like to help people. Mm -hmm. So, if you're in a situation uh, where you can't pay your mortgage and things are going real bad instead of you getting that you know thing on your record you call me i come in i take it off your hands i buy it for a fee all cash of course yeah. and um you're able to go on with your life to start again somewhere else and i take it from there and i'll invest in it okay. fix it up and of course i'll put it back on the market again and sell and sell we all need legal protection whether you want to believe it yes or no so I believe, especially in our community, with this service only $24 per month for the membership, we should all go out there and get this service. The identity theft, no brainer. I don't need to elaborate on that anymore. So there you have it. A lot of information from Angela Berry, all right, who is the senior director for Legal Shield. So here, man, man, stop wasting the time. Stop playing games, man. Get on the thing, man. It's a great opportunity. $24 a month on the can lose. And of course, you don't know the proven home solution. She have that lock also. Yeah, we're not wait pan. We're not gonna house, we don't want to sell it and all them things. Eh? Link her up right now. Okay? Boom, let's keep it locked. Ziggy Bless right here and come chat with me. Alright guys, welcome to another episode. Where you there? in at the kitchen and this week I have something wonderful for you guys. I'm going to be doing a curry shrimp and I'm going to put a little bit of twist to it. In at the kitchen. Had all your fresh ingredients. After you had your fresh ingredients, saute for a couple seconds. You put in your shrimp and let your shrimp salty looking real good because you're gonna definitely enjoy this. This is a dish that you can serve with some white rice, you can serve with some food, you can do yam, dumpling, banana, curry shrimp, and you're good to go. And you're gonna definitely enjoy this. So let it saute for about a minute nice and you can add a little bit flavor you can kind of taste as you go along taste your sauce make sure your sauce is good if you want you can add a little bit more of the curry paste 
inside looking real good real nice it's almost almost medium right now but you still want to cook it a little bit more just to make sure that everything is blending all your flavors are there everything is going on for it and then the next thing the next step that you're going to do now you're going to now start adding your broccoli you can also do cauliflower if you want you can do broccoli and spinach and you're going to add it and you're going to start saute this together and let this cook you're gonna have a little bit of um, seafood base or you can use some fish base or some shrimp base and you're good saute him again for probably another minute or so at this point you can add a little bit of water to it because now you're building your gravy you're building the base for your gravy Let it cook for another minute or so, looking real good, looking real nice. Um, if you need, you can taste as you go along. You can top it off with a little bit more of Obey season. You can put some butter inside just to help enhance the flavor and enhance the, the, the texture because you need a nice, rich, thick gravy going on because this you're going to definitely need when you put your rice next to it. You need that nice, rich, thick gravy going on with it. So you're gonna let this cook for probably, I would say probably another um, minute or so. At this point, you can now add your potato. Cause like I said, this is a real different dish. This is something different. So it's not your typical curry shrimp. We're gonna go with some baby potato. We're gonna put it in. I pre-cooked the baby potato first because as you know, it's gonna take a little longer time. So I pre-cook it and then I put it into the curry shrimp and then let it cook together the flavor is gonna go into the the potato quite easy and quite quick so definitely you're gonna definitely enjoy I'm plating this solo for now meaning it's it, it's by itself then you can plate it again and you can plate it with some white rice rice and peas whatever you want to serve it with um, you put it in a nice plate then you serve your rice to it and everything blends in everything look real good and you're definitely gonna enjoy this this goes well with some lemonade it goes well with some um, red striped beer it goes well with um, iron can it goes well with some red wine or some white wine you know and you'll definitely enjoy it. even a glass of fruit punch Just put some fresh lemon because as you know with seafood you definitely always want to have your fresh lemon going on so you put your fresh lemon and um, looking good if you want you can also put some garnish you can put some parsley leaf you can put anything that you want to use as garnish just to bring the plate to life nice lemon on the side you can't go wrong with this and you have nice glass of wine red striped beer you're good or some lemonade and you're good so until i catch you next week what you there? Inner the kitchen, and we're gonna be making something totally different, something totally new, and you're gonna love it. Cooker Tea has been performing all over the world since 1984, with extensive tours to the US, Canada, the Caribbean, and Japan. She don't want no unsteady relationship One way around like a rocking ship I have the privilege, the honor to sit next to the living legend himself, Kokoti. How are you doing, sir? I'm going to give thanks to life, man. I'm here, you know, feeling fine. She was nice, people. All right, the vibes nice. The crowd is very warm, and the ladies are so lovely, oh my. Trust me, what real can thing. I ask for in life? After so many years in the business, you know what I mean? How oh, tea keep it going, man? It just keep going and going, man. Where the energy come from? Where you do it? Well, like you see, the energy on stage is the fitness, because the fitness is the fitness child survive. You know, make sure you eat right, make sure you sleep right, make sure you exercise right, and make sure you live right. Make sure your words match your works. Your works match your words. So with word, works, words without works is a joke, you know? So anytime you come out and talk, want to say something to the people, Make sure anything you say you keep it, you live the type of life that you, you talk about or you sing about. And that's what I try my best to do. I'm not perfect, no man in the world is perfect, but I try my best, you know what I'm saying? You sing from my album called Fire. This one's called Fire. Fire, fire, fire.
paya 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 I need to have a special lady One I can call my one and only Not only someone to spend my money But someone I can have a friend call my You mentioned on Sage about the herb situation, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. So Babylon thing want to cover the thing. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's like um you don't know how, me, how much tribulation Rasta go through for this thing called marijuana. And not only marijuana alone, because Rasta you choose used to preach to the people, so watch watch diabetes, watch high blood pressure, watch your your, your, your high cholesterol and all them things. So if you eat certain things and don't eat certain things and people say they might eat that, the rest of them are fool. Like we say, we are the herb of the healing of the nation, and people say we are stupid. And but now we used to a lot of Rasta used to have to run off the road and go hide in a bush and all them things. Call them say Rasta black hat man. All them do is smoke ganja and chat a bag of foolishness. Now yeah. they are legalizing the herb and who taking it over? Yeah. The big merchandise are taking over the herb and everybody want to have a, a nurse and everybody want to have a dispensary and everybody want to have a shop to sell medical yeah. marijuana and and, and, and um, recreational marijuana. They are trying to marginalize Rasta. Who has been through so much tribulation and problem for the thing? So I'm gonna say, watch out. No, where is Iron Eye Space? I was I was convicted in Barbados for a little spliff deal. Yeah, in 1998, a little spliff deal it caused me so much trouble. Forget to come to the United States. Every time I want to come to the United States, I forget a, a waiver. No, I saw on the on my on, on the on social media the other day where a minister in in in, in the cabinet in in um, Antigua. Say he's apologizing to Rasta for all the things that they have done to us, all the, the negative things with them do up to us, and yeah. him saying all the things that we hear about marijuana is a lie. It's not I said that. You no, know, go and check the internet and it is there for everyone it's to fact. see. It. Yeah. It's a fact. So I'm saying we have been through so much thing for this. So we make we have a space. You know, man. Everybody want to come get rich and we if you not get nothing, so it don't look good. When I say coco, you say tea. I say coco and you say tea. Then I say coco, then I say tea. Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Thanks for watching Come Chat With Me. Tune in each and every Sunday right here on CIN. I want to big up Mr. and Mrs. Spencer for always keeping it locked, alright? See you next week!